All right, unlike the Chiefs and the NFL draft, most baseball fans could really care less what the Royals do this weekend in the MLB draft, and probably for good reason. The track record isn't very good in these deals. When David Glass first bought the team, he got rid of many of the scouts, and that was a tip-off right there that this owner had no clue on how to run a baseball operation. Scouting is the lifeblood of this sport, folks. Good scouting, that is. When Dayton Moore was hired eight years ago, he made a point to sign multiple scouts and zeroed in on the Dominican Republic. I don't know what happened, but Bubba Starling and some of these high draft picks they have taken over the years have done absolutely nothing. We've been led to believe now the Royals had one of the best farm systems in all of baseball. In reality, the product has been overvalued. The system is now depleted of talent. There is not a major league ready player to be found at AAA level. The Royals had a top five pick now in all but one of the seven drafts Moore has been in charge of. To date, they have struck out on every first round pick since Moore arrived. That is unacceptable. Best players on the team, Billy Butler and Alex Gordon, were drafted by Allard Baird. This franchise is at a crossroads now. David Glass is milking the fans for every buck he can get. The Royals will receive $52 million a year in revenue from the Major League Baseball beginning next year. Yet they turn out a lousy product on the field year after year, and they are getting by with it. A growing number of us have become skeptical now. David Glass, as a CEO and owner of this franchise, has one winning season in 20 years. You know what? Maybe it's time to start flying some of those banners over the ballpark. We need to band together as one voice and do everything humanly possible to convince this man to get out of the way and sell this team. He needs to do it, and the sooner the better, for the good of all baseball fans in this city. That's Jack Smack.